my name is Legacy Along, the natural birth queen, and today is a beautiful day. Today is a beautiful day because I'm going to be sharing with you guys my morning routine before an unmedicated, unassisted, home water lotus birth. I have a strategic plan in place during my births, and this is something that I do every time before I have a home birth. So without further ado, if you're new to this channel, I want you guys to make an exception for the natural birth queen. Add me to your subscription list by clicking that red juicy button down below. Down below, it says subscribe, it says subscribe. 10 things that I do in my morning routine before I have my home births. Before we get into the 10 things that I do, I'm gonna be sharing with you guys a little story about what happened right before I gave birth. I was sleeping, I was having a nice nap. I remember having a dream, that in my dream, I was talking to a childhood friend and she was pregnant in my dream. And I said to her, you know, I keep having this back pain and it keeps giving me this, you know, this feeling in my butt. Like, I just keep getting this feeling in my butt. And she was like, oh, well, that's a little strange. You should go check that out. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to go check that out. Matter of fact, when I wake up from this dream, I'm going to Google why I'm having a butt pain. She's like, yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. So a little bit later, I decide to wake up. And I wake up and I realize that the, the butt pain that I was feeling in my dream was actually real. I was feeling that butt feeling in real life. Basically, when you're feeling a little bit of butt pain, that is a sign that you need to clear your passageway and have a bowel movement because baby is about to come and it needs space. So it's important to clear that passageway. I noticed that the bed where I was laying was a little bit moist. So I was like, okay, that's a bit strange. That's when I got my first contraction. Because it was my third baby, I was like, that is it. It's going down. Going down. As soon as I knew it was going down, I then put into action the 10 things that I do every single time before I have my home birth. This is my morning routine, guys. This is what I do before having my home birth. And it's very important to me because it sets the tone for my birth and it helps me achieve these amazing calm results. Number one, the first thing I do is I clear my system. It is so important for me to clear my system by having a bowel movement to make sure that my passageway is clear and I won't be constipated during birth. To do this, I drink lots of water, H2O baby, H2O, as well as antioxidant fruits like blueberries, cherries, peaches, papaya, but I usually do blueberries. Grapes are also good for antioxidants. And I will sit on the toilet until I release every bowel movement that I can to make sure that I am not having constipation during my labor and I have no interruptions and I have a clear passageway for my baby. Number two. Number two is I time my contractions. That is how I know if I am in full labor or not. So I use the contraction timer app. I downloaded it from the app store. And once my contractions are five minutes apart, 30 seconds long, which they usually are as soon as I get my first contraction, but every woman is different. As soon as I start to know that there's a pattern, that's how I know that today is going to be the day. And that is when I move on to number three. Number three is when I notify my family or the people who will be at the birth. And that is usually my mom or Chaz. And basically what I do is, I just say, today's the day. <laughs> today's the day, ladies and gentlemen. I'll look over to Chaz, I'll tap him, and I'll say, babe, today is the day. The next thing I do is I text my mom, and I'll be like, today is the day. And she always, as soon as I text that, I know she's gonna be here in the next 30 or 20 minutes. Now, step number four is crucial, and it's what I do every single time, and that is nap. 
I nap, guys. It's so important for me to nap because I need energy, guys. Sometimes people say that giving birth is a marathon, and it's true. It does feel like a marathon, and your body needs to be well rested. It is hard to nap while you're having contractions, but at least rest. Close your eyes, I close my eyes, and I just relax, and that's what I do. Routine. After I nap, I wake up and I get ready. I make sure I wear my makeup, my hair, because of course I want to feel like a goddess when I'm giving birth. And that is also my physical way of affirmation. It's a way of looking into the mirror and seeing a goddess in front of me and being able to know that I'm a goddess, I'm a natural birth queen, I can do this. So whenever I feel like giving up, I can remind myself of who I truly am by looking in the mirror. Step number six. I know a lot of people say, you know what, I watch birth videos throughout my entire pregnancy, I'm good, I know what I'm doing. But when that first contraction hits, everything that you remember can go out the window. And it's important to reinforce every single thing that you learn within the first few hours that you're having contractions. Watching positive birth videos is a way of understanding that if they can do it, you can do it too. As well as educating yourself through podcasts and YouTube videos, that is something that I do as well. Number eight, the next thing that I do during my morning routine of a home birth is I talk to my kids and I let them know what to expect for the next few hours. Mommy's gonna have the baby now. Today is the day you're about to see your baby. And they're all excited like, woo woo! We are having a baby today. And I drink, a, I eat, and I drink. Not only do I do that, I do that for my kids too. I make sure everybody's hydrated so they're not cranky throughout the day and I make sure that I have enough energy. A lot of people say you're not supposed to drink, you're not supposed to be eat during birth. What? Does that make any sense? When your muscles, which your uterine muscles are going through work, they need energy. If you do not fuel your system with energy. It will get dry, it will get tired, and it will make your contractions feel more painful. Step number 10! 10. I go about the day like it's a regular day. I stay calm. I acknowledge that today is a beautiful day. And I distract myself with something fun to do. So for me, for the last birth, it was a photo shoot. I was like, I'm gonna take pictures of me when I'm pregnant for the very last time. And I did that to distract myself and burn a lot of time. So that is a tip, guys. I go up on my day like it's a regular day. I do something, I fulfill a task, and that way I burn a lot of time and distract myself from the contractions or the sensations. So there you guys have it. Those are the 10 things I do in my morning routine before my unmedicated home, unassisted lotus birth. If you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you're done watching, just make sure you click that thumbs up button. Make sure that subscribe button is gray and not red so that you know you already clicked subscribe. Add me to your subscription list so I can continue to educate you with birth. Click that red juicy button down below. Down below, it says subscribe, it says subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. It's Legacy Along, the natural birth queen. Me, Zero. Good job. My name's Prince. I know you're very selective with clicking the subscribe button. When Bye. we're in your position, we feel the exact same way. When you click the subscribe button, you get notified when we have new videos, new videos, giveaways, giveaways, and live streams. Live streams. So if you guys can make an exception for us by clicking that red juicy button down below, down below, it says subscribe. It says subscribe. We're gonna be shouting out who's been clicking the subscribe button. Subscribe button. Tony. Tony. Gigi. Gigi. Tamia. Tamia. Diamante. Diamante. Sarah. Sarah. Misha. Misha. Awesome Family TV.
now we're going to be shouting out everyone who's purchased a home birth course, a birth plan, or a virtual doula package. Doula package. Shelby. Shelby. Ashley. Ashley. Desiree. Desiree. Anna. Anna. Lashara. Lashara. Zane. Zane. Khadija. Yeah. Lamaya. Lamaya. England. England. Shelly. Shelly. Yaffa. Yaffa. Ebony. Ebony. Alrighty, guys, if we were to continue to name them, it would take us all day. But thank you to everyone who's been supporting our website, valaboo.com. If you're interested in a home birth course or a birth plan or a doula, all the links are down below. To the right are new videos. New videos. So let's go over there and let you guys enjoy. Button down, down low, down low. It says, and subscribe. It says, subscribe. Woo! And subscribe.